Hello guys, there is Yoda. And today something new. I'm going to be casted uh, replay from Rohun. It's free for free and it's going to be from version 1.00. Since Maglin is uh, not here to do it for us um, because um, it was the player, the caster that casts all those uh, free for free from patch 1.00. Because he's absent, I will mm, do it. I just find myself okay, let's do it. Let's uh, show people some fresh stuff um, because on gameplays.org there are not that new that much of the new replays so for misperlans and yeah we're gonna get free for free of 4k start resources as well as uh, 2x combine points so let's get started and let's see what we got over here so we got elephant player GBU Aragorn as elves. His allies are Shinoda playing as men and another one it's going to be gamers. Gamers playing as Isengard he's going with two work pits. On the opposing team we got Isengard player Harry with two Uruk pits start. His ally is the Ord uh, play as uh, Goblin with two Goblin Spider Pets. And the last player over here, it's going to be Mifrandir playing as Goblins with one Goblin Cave and Goblin Pet. So this is like this. Of course, we got uh, 4k resources. So everyone except uh, Goblins will get some heroes. Of course, Isengard will get lures. So we're gonna have two losses uh, on the time. Gamer is going for a creep, for a creep troller. As well as our elephant player, Aragorn, will get Tranduil. That by default got uh, white walk, which is very annoying for opposing team because mm, this guy is invisible <laughs> all the time. On 1.00. Uh, so let's not stick with him yet. We're gonna check man. So man is going for stable silver two. He will get some rohirrims, and he got already an uh, Theoden. And it looks like he's going for a troll. He's going for a troll kill. Get level two for Theoden. In the meantime, we got two links appear from Olds. As I will remember, there's the mid uh, middle player. And he's going for a man uh, for Shinoda. Maybe did some damage. Pretty good idea. Well, links are very fast. Shinoda prepare himself with some Gondor Tower Guards trying to protect himself. He may lose some stuff over here. He will lose the builder if he's not going to create anything. We got Tunland on the base of Shinoda. And it looks like that spider links will deal enough damage because if you kill a builder for a pawn two links, there is enough. To be honest, uh, he's still alive with those links, so definitely Shinoda is in trouble at the moment. He got to mm, get himself up. Here comes some heroic statue from Aragorn, so from Elfan player. Now let's get to other side of the map. As we can see, war riders appear from gamers on the top of those uh, two goblin. Uh, those spider pits. We get bats already used over here. Lots of links. Mm, those spider riders should be definitely in bone mode, trying to deal more and more damage towards his opponent. Those links should definitely get away because they are dealing no damage. They are only stuck over here. But it is what it is. Mm, we get counter attack from another Isengard. towards gamers and uh, gamers is not the position of course he got lures level 3 so he got cripple and carnage carnage is he level 3 as well as cripple is from level 1 so it's definitely different than in other patches from battle for of 2 and looks like Harry is going for uh, Uruk but it's pretty good idea to do it Pin will be used on something. By default, Cripple. Cripple will be used on lures, a pretty good idea. Now, Carnage could be even used 
as well on top of this lures but this lures is going to pin his opponent's lures as well and uh, they're only stuck over here now the bone mode should be used not even carnage because it's only a waste anyway let's check uh, elephant player because i think he's now in the defense uh, still he's defending his um, teammates some hobbits will appear from from an ns there is stack uh, three or even two over here so elephant player is going to defend his teammates uh, for the time goblins fight with pikemans from the middle signal fires have been taken at least one of them which is very important um, mostly in the early game in, and in the late game rather because uh, signal fires allow you to get your power points faster so it's very important to get it in time in the meantime gamers is going with warhop trying to protect his builder Trundle is low on health is going to be healed of course heal on 1.00 give you 100% health this warhop should be cancelled it shouldn't uh, be allowed to end but gamers is not aware about it so his warhub will, will end he get I think two more builders yeah two more builders he just warhub this one that he eventually lost in the process this one as well so mm, overall pretty bad performance from gamers to be honest even if he was able to take down another lures uh, from his opponent mm, he lost two builders in the process but still got his hero good performance so far uh, from Harry uh, who took the outpost over here on the middle and trying to make more and more furnaces from the entire map which is very important of course he got to recreate his lures but it's not a big deal to be honest in the meantime mm, Shinoda is still in danger he just threw down Wohab with his builder to protect him as well let him uh, end it's not a very good idea you just waste the resources you shouldn't allow warhops to end i know it's that's not very much but still but on the other side uh, shinoda just took the outpost uh, there is still one signal fire haven't been taken by anybody uh, should be taken as fast as possible trandu level five at the moment lures is on level four so gamers and Aragorn can push it forward uh, for a time when lures will not reappear well, as we can see gamers is trying to deal some damage with war riders um, I think Hulk have been used uh, too fast 115% of damage added so it's like uh, two more battalions but definitely links will deal enough damage of course they shouldn't be like that it shouldn't be like that that links are one year or another because this pattern of links dealing no damage they should turn around and trying to fight with uh, work riders in the back stab them in the back anyway we get um, Harry who's pushing back who's pushed back he got of course Lurus back in the in the process uh, Lurus is on level 4 so almost level 5 it's pretty good gamers Lurus are, are, is the same Lots of crossbones, which is a pretty good idea when you're fighting with uh, Isengard mirrors. But of course, you need some work riders to deal with um, Lorien archers. Harris taking take armory. He will go with armory. Pin will be used into Tranduil, so cripple. And um, Elf will be pushed back for a moment. Uh, of course, lures uh, from gamers will use creep um, will use um, cripple as well from the opponents and lures. And trying to protect um, Elfan Hero. Let's see if he if he going to be succeed over here. Is their hero available? I don't think so. They are not healing this uh, Tranduil. So yes, Tranduil will be lost as we can see. So he is dead. But of course, Lures. Both Lures are on level four only. A pretty good push back of an Elf and Isengard. To be honest, because mm, these lords and those uh, units will definitely get back into their base. I don't have don't have units over here. In the meantime, mm, Harry is still quaking some units. I'm not very passionate about it. You shouldn't quake your units. You just waste resources and time. Overall, as I said, Elf and Isengard pushed back. Of course, Isengard took the outpost, 
so it's pretty safe that you can be pushed back for a minute but of course we get some links from Ordi who's pushing forward destroying more and more furnaces an entire base for gamers to be honest so it's pretty good pretty good attack over here pretty fast move as we can see Aragorn is still in pretty good shape he got tower in the middle to just not allow anything to get over his base on this side uh, so what we got over here Shinoda and Aragorn trying to push forward towards Goblin's fortress uh, there are only few links not very much I think uh, that at least Okay, but should be used over here to debuff all those units because Theoden gives them 50% damage of 50% armor. But here is help from Mifril or Mifrandil. Mifrandil, I'm very sorry. Mifrandil, here is debuff. Um, we got Glorious Charge, so definitely something will happen over here. Trying to will be pushed back as we can see. I bet um, he's going for spider pits, both of them. Uh, elf and land have been used by Aragorn, which is the only elf over here. And those structures may be destroyed um, immediately. So yeah, that just happened. Rebels will remain? No. So Shinoda make a good job of o over here, he should definitely retreat at the moment with his units but with Glorious Charge he'll definitely do it. In the meantime mm, Mifrandil was able to take this outpost of out of his control and gain more and more resources as well as as we can see he's pushing forward with Builder towards the middle which is very important to take the middle side both uh, signal fires are taken by the elf player which will um, respawn his power points faster very important as I said in the beginning and everyone should uh, take it first and stick with those signal fires over here and over here you want to take them it's very important to have them definitely in the, in the late game when your power points are more powerful and you can regain them faster anyway we get rebuilt I think from Shinoda mm, cave bats from Mifrandil 5 power points mm, cave bats from gamers and 9 power points so he was involved in um, heavy fights so far as we can see it's a nice singer player we got Aragorn who got heal and uh, health and wood which uh, shows that he was involved in heavy fights as well and of course all players that we want to see at the moment definitely I want to see when I cast it uh, replace Lures on level 6 from gamers he got um, pillage and uh, leadership which is more important as we can see mm, Harry lost his uh, hero one more time he get to recreate him and he will be pushed definitely towards his base hardly at the moment while even goblin doesn't have much to offer only the orange one, only Mifrandil got something to um, say over here and he is moving, he is moving towards the gamers base, towards the gamers for forces to just deal some damage, help his uh, ally to stay alive so Harry will be alive I think for a time while those goblins will appear those goblins should definitely does, do not care about signal fire at least do not destroy it, they should take them, take it you want to take the signal fires, not destroy them. Because you will not gain benefits from it, you just waste time when you destroy it. As you can see, uh, Mifrandil used 4 battalions of goblins just to destroy the place that doesn't even matter. So, what we get over here, Loris is back for Harry, but he's only level 4 against level 6 uh, lures from gamers it's not very good Wartrand will be used here we go in back we got Whitesman of Dunlad so there will be heavy fights of course we got some 
uh, Lorian archers that should definitely take down the the cave bats over here to be honest to allow uh, lures and those units to get more mm, to get this leadership just just like that as we can see leadership from Harry at the moment and definitely those those Lorian archers should aim the Krabines at the moment I know it's weird but of course it's necessary and now Krabines get hit from the cripple you got to remember that uh, Krabines are heroes whatever they looks like and Creeper will be, if it will be on um, autocast, it's going to be used on them. So Gamers just lost his uh, Creeper in the process. A very basic um, mistake. It shouldn't happen, I think. Some Hobbit Alliance appear. And now Gamers get his leadership back, which allow him to mm, kill his opponent's units. As well as Goblin appear at last with... Uh, his spiders, uh, spider riders, as well as some goblins. So he will be definitely winner over here. I'm not gonna say that. Oh, those goblin spider riders, of course, are from the other side. So definitely good, good job over here by Mifrio to help his ally stay alive. Now even this uh, land over here from goblin will definitely get more and more. So for now, Harry is saved. Let's stick with others, let's see what others got to offer. So Shinoda got nice looking base so far. He got even uh, blacksmith available, he's upgrading to level 2. Mm, Aragorn, Aragorn got nice looking base as well, he got a 1 tower in the, in the front, just secure his uh, position over here. But it's uh, just uh, show that, game that um, Aragorn will not, uh, is not even wanting to move forward. He should be somewhere over here to be honest. This tower over here, you got all the plenty over here, you can use it as well as the goblin did it, the orange goblin, to just secure your position, which is definitely better than have a mm, protection that near your fortress. Now we get uh, Mifril who take back the outpost, which is very important so far. 16 uh, resources is not that uh, that um, much, but of course you want to get map control, definitely or hoon. Gamer's trying to protect his lures on level 10. I think he stopped him for a minute. Uh, he's on defensive stance to just protect him. Cave bats should definitely follow those goblins, uh, which uh, they are doing. So it's pretty good. Carnage will be used and uh, Lures will take care about uh, all those goblins that appear. Let's go and uh, check uh, Shinoda, because we haven't seen him for a long time. Another Wahab will be thrown down by Shinoda, maybe to protect himself. Of course, uh, he's moving with three battalions of Rohirrims and Theoden towards the middle. He got uh, Glorious Charge. He haven't been used uh, King's Favor that increase experience from Rohirrims and uh, the other units. He should definitely do it. But he got Forge Blades. That is very important if you if you want to destroy the fortress. For his opponent, most likely he will go for the force, uh, fortress of uh, Ordi. That is on the middle as well. Oh, Troll get involved in the in this fight. He will kill lots of and just knock them down. Lots of Rohirrims. As we can see, Mifrandil is on, on posi in the position, he is going to protect his ally. Some mm, Goblin's uh, hole expansion, spider hole expansion appear as well from Morty. And he is going to protect his base as well with some uh, Altrum Marauders. Glorious Charge have been used. Here we go with Cave Bats. And we are gonna see how it's going to work. This glorious charge is pretty effective. It's pretty valid your uh, riders. They're the so so heavy in armor then. Oh here we go. Here we go with counterattack. Uh, who who got those uh, Whitesman of Downland? It's the node. Who just summoned Whitesman of Downland towards the fortress of his opponent. I think that he could take down 
farm and uh, blacksmith first then the fortress of course on 1.00 fort uh, fortress and any other structure is in paper to be honest of course Shinoda got rebuilt so he will rebuild it in time I guess <coughs> but he will lose this farm anyway mm, of course fortress re is rebuilt farm as well so it's mm, pretty good but he will lost so much resources he may even lost this farm anyway so it's pretty good uh, fortress is, ha uh, is in half health only by dealing uh, some damage by what's Donald and farm is goes down and the first farm that uh, Shinoda create um, the other have been destroyed uh, previously this other one this is the only one that Shinoda got in, in this time so he got to make lots of effective push with his Rohirrims this fortress will definitely stand up still so we got Rohirrims uh, trying to deal damage to Isengard not very effective, Isengard got heavy armor on his Urukai pipelines as well as Lurus is coming back he should definitely try to pin this uh, Theoden he will not be able to do it I think he will cast it out just waste this is why um, I don't recommend you to um, auto cast your skills your abilities Mm, Riders of Rohima with Theoden will be pushed back and will be forced to get back into the base. Mm, so far it's an elf, it's a red elf um, that we haven't saw any any pushes from Aragorn. He haven't been pushed anything, he just uh, stay in his tiny base doing, uh, to be honest, nothing at the moment. He's only protect his allies, brought some other towers, ex uh, towers uh, into the mm, composition of his army uh, to protect his for uh, fortress and to protect his ally as well, he got tower over here so he's more over the protector than the um, person who will attack you of course he got some hobbits but of course they're not dealing that much damage even to the tunnels as we can see not that much even on large patch 1.00 lots of uh, the riders, spider riders from Mifrandil this is the guy who's dealing definitely a good job, he got map control and it's very important As we can see, he's everywhere. He got uh, his tunnels, even in uh, his teammate's space, to just protect him. Uh, Elfen land up here. Uh, here we go with some battle tower. Warton have been used uh, towards all those spider riders, and we get some pacmans as well you know, from the Nord, from uh, Blue Goblin player. So definitely, those spider riders along with those uh, marauders, halter marauders, will definitely be able to take down the fortress as you can see spider riders moving forward they are not very mm, care about the fortress as well as this tower they are just moving forward the links will take care about the um, tower expansion and it's just happened the links just take care about the tower and uh, all those uh, loading archers uh, reappear over here my friend is trying to aim and the mm, gondor tower guards and in the meantime Shinoda is going to lose his uh, fort, uh, fort by half from Maruders. Definitely Mifrid at the moment should definitely take care about himself and get away of here. Shouldn't involve his units over here. Or maybe trample all those uh, Lorian archers. Do not even care about uh, those tower guards. Well, tower guards pretty good in the position. But of course, spider riders in the masses, they're doing definitely a great job. Even maybe blacksmith will be taken down by the odds uh, halt from Marudra, so it's a very very good job by those two players by Mithril to just annoy his opponent and by uh, odds to just destroying stuff let's go on the other side on the other side we still got uh, Isengard fights we got Randwil from uh, Aragorn that's only here to secure his opponent, his teammate as you can see he just kill and lures uh, from his opponent an entire army from the Harry from Harry got to retreat even with those upgrades so as far as we can see Aragorn with an elves is pretty good in defense mm, defending his teammates you gonna have another battle tower like mm, he's trying to prepare himself for something mm, that will not appear soon 
Oh, what do we got over here? We got uh, Tandaman used and already mm, ants as well. Two on the melee weapon, two on uh, range weapon with the rocks. On top of them will appear Whitesman of Downland with War Chant. Mm, but definitely heavy losses will be done towards the fortress. The fortress may go down even from Harry, so we we'll lose access to his power points. Heal have been used uh, towards the uh, ants. Yes, on patch 1.00 you can heal your ants, as you can see. Pretty weird, but it is what it is. Uh, fortress from Harry is going down, as you can see, so nothing that uh, coalition of Isengard and Goblins can do for it. Uh, Haltrum Marudes uh, not appear in time to protect his teammate. If maybe they'll, they will appear from this uh, tunnel it'll be faster, but of course it doesn't make uh, now anything to do with it. Forces has gone down. Harry, if he will be saved over here, he got to rebuild it. As we can see he's doing it, he's rebuilding his fortress right away to not be knocked down out of the game. And those two ants will die by those uh, Haltrum Marauders, so there is no need to watch this. Let's take a look over here f into Aragorn's base, they're trying to create some warhops expansions, protect his base. Lots of spider riders will be killed in process. Those towers are pretty good setup from the defense. And Gamers is uh, pushed back towards his base and trying to protect it as well. Because this among of spider riders in patch 1.00 can definitely destroy everything over here. So let's uh, take a look. My friend is going in the back of the fortress and he's going to deal damage. And gamers should pick those uh, Pacmans and push them over here, like place them over here. Then they will be all fighting with those spider riders, but because in this moment only three Pacmans fighting with those spider riders, there is not very effective while you got the entire battalion. <laughs> As we can see, Gamer was, uh, was able to successfully defend his base against Mithril, and now Mithril got to create more and more stuff. He got even a uh, fissure outside of his base, but he's losing, losing ground, losing those towns over here. As you can see, Aragorn's uh, decided to rebuild signal fires. It's very important, very good idea as well, because if you got like 15 power points and this, those ends that he got, you want them to respond faster to just uh, destroy your opponent's bases as well faster. Mm, some hobbits to deal with uh, tunnels, not very effective, but of course it's enough. Mm, so as you can see, gamers doesn't have that much army, that much units, that much army. He just uh, protect his allies as best as he could, protect his base with towers expansions, mm, and pushing forward with hero. I think it's it's basically what uh, what uh, Ara what Aragorn doing with elves. And it's weird, but it works out for him. As we can see, he got one more time trend wheel that he got will walk from entire time by default, and he's pushing towards um, the enemy's base, the enemy's fortress. Let's see what's going to happen because, in, uh, as I saw, it's going to be his um, strategy over here in this game, just to push with his hero, uh, step back entire entire uh, army in his base just protect the allies he just placed the beacon over here Wiseman of Dunland will appear we got uh, dead eye over here mm, move unseen have been used uh, on those Wiseman of Dunland pretty good idea but fortress have been done already and it's going to be heavy losses from uh, from 
Harry. What I wasn't to uh, mention that um, she know that have been defeated uh, as the man. He just lost his barrack. Maybe not that important thing, but of course they're playing now two versus three. So what are we gonna have? Uh, Gamers with his Whitesman of Download will definitely and his units with uh, lures will definitely take down the fortress uh, from Harry and Harry will be defeated so all his troops are going down. So it's two versus two at the moment. We got elephant wood and the odd mm, just get entire mm, north sound as we can see over here on his with his tunnels uh, to just increase his uh, ability to make money pretty good pretty good idea tower X expansion goes down and now gamers uh, not gamers but Aragorn is in trouble a bit half through Mordor is definitely killing all those stuff I don't think so they will be able to destroy those uh, wall hubs in time while the entire army lots of uh, Lorian archers are going back towards the base and they're going to try to deal enough damage towards uh, Hatro Marauders <coughs> ah, sorry I'm a little bit sick Wiseman of Danad appear on top of um, Lorian Archer so mm, the odd one want to increase his damage down towards the fortress of uh, Aragorn but I don't think so that he will be ab able to do it while he's in definite danger over here he just who is that? The old one used Worm to protect his base. We got Lures level 10 on top of Fortress. Lots of upgraded uh, Pikemen as well. So it's definitely uh, hard for him. There are some Pikemen still in the game. We got here as well two mm, builders in the, in the tunnel from Mifrandel. But let's take the battle over here. Fortress is al almost gone. Carnage goes down but from Lures, so he will deal less damage, but it's enough. 1k resources goes for gamers and his lures. He take down for forces from the odd. So we can see now if the odd will be able to deal some damage towards the Aragon force uh, fortress. That is, uh, I think, the most important one. Aragon just placed the beacon to let his teammate know that he needs help, like right now, because he's going down a bit. Fortress is going down. Mm, Rhyngal have been used into the into the archers in this uh, battle tower. Weird decision, to be honest. I don't really think it's going to work, but of course the statue over here and those Lorian archers would definitely clear up all those half from marauders from the odd. So what we got now? Uh, gamers trying to retreat. Mifrandil is still standing strong, but here we go with um, ants one more time. <coughs> and Aragorn will definitely deal increasing damage towards the fortress with Evil Eye, with Dead Eye, with his Strandville. Of course, Mifrandil got his builders into the tunnel, saved an army out of position. Oh, he plays some army, some uh, half through Marauders fortress goes down. So Aragorn, um, even without an army over here, he is doing incredible great job over here with ants. He's going to take down the spider pedal level 2. So it looks like that his defensive stun is in his base and uh, good performance with Trend will pay off. Of course he got uh, those two signal fires on the middle. So it's allow him to uh, get his power points faster. That definitely uh, is shown in this replay that he got those ends so fast to take down another mm, fortress f with them. Goblin caves will uh, be killed over here. This ants will fall down by those uh, goblin spider riders as well. Trandu is going back level 9 on him at the moment. 
it looks like the Mithril just took the signal fire out of his control <coughs> a little bit too late he should be thinking about it uh, previously running call have been used or about, about the war jumped and as well we got rain from gamers we got units on the north as we can see he's going to deal damage towards those goblin caves from the ord and towards those tunnels Aragorn's uh, Tranduil is going back to base trying to protect himself and Aragorn trying to recreate his base maybe he will push forward with units at last because he's not good he's not doing it uh, from the entire game he just protect his uh, allies and then increasing his uh, power points it's basically what he's doing definitely is uh, nice player with those power points don't, don't get me wrong but he's not using his full potential of army As we can see, Gamers was able to take down all the forced, uh, fortress uh, forces that appear from the Goblin Caves. And Thanos would be taken down as well, I think. So the Odd may be even defeated. If not, no, he is going to recreate his fortress. If not, he will get a heavy losses over here anyway. As we can see, at last, uh, it's a Goblin who take the signal fire so it would prevent uh, gamers from re respawn his power points at fast gamers will pushing forward and Randy is still out of position to be honest he should uh, get some units with him like here we go some pikemen some uh, loading archers they're pushing forward to help uh, their king as well as some Urukais with upgrades he'll have been used towards uh, Tranduil and uh, lots of uh, spider riders will be killed in process of those Mifflin sentries level 10 from Tranduil so he got uh, Torn of Vengeance available definitely great spell for uh, heroes Gamer's lures appear as well so they are pretty set up and now we got Goblin who doesn't have a fortress and another Goblin who doesn't have uh, really much that uh, power points to deal any damage and lost so much to for um, Isengard and Elf Gamers at this point should definitely take care about the signal fires, take it back well he got lots of power points so those ants abilities it's very important to get it as fast as possible to take down force uh, uh, fortress for his ally as he did it twice before more pikemans and uh, swordsmen appear they'll be stabbed maybe by goblin spider riders So players now are not fighting an anymore. Like I think gamers is waiting for his power points to reappear. Uh, no gamers, Aragon waiting for his power points re to reappear, mm, and gamers is trying to deal some damage. But of course, without lures in this composition, even with upgrades, um, they're very fragile. And this uh, outpost, uh, definitely this one, should be taken by um, Aragon at the moment with his units. But he's not doing it, he's going for the fissure, he's trying to destroy the rebels that remain. I think that, that, that is, this is the last building that Mifran will get, but it's of course a lie. Actually, I cannot see any buildings from, from Mifran deal, where he places buildings. They are all belongs to Ord. Mm, no idea. Okay. <laughs> no idea. Got no idea. So, basically, mm, 
now it's the time for gamers and uh, Aragorn to move forward they shouldn't stay even over here good that gamers took the outpost at last so he will increase something oh maybe over here no there are only workers so I cannot find the last building for me mm, friend that allow him to create units maybe over here no <laughs> oh here is the fortress so me friend you got fortress as well as his teammate I don't think so it's very good because he lost it anyway in a matter of seconds But here we go, uh, as you can see Odds trying to push forward, mm, really good idea, take this signal fire as well, was a very good move. And trying to protect himself as well as his teammate, He's, uh, he known that uh, Gamers is coming with uh, Pikemans over here. And uh, Aragorn just uh, find out the fortress from his opponent using rallying call towards uh, spider war uh, towards the work riders I don't know really why because lots of uh, half Rumaru that's on, on top of those units but here we go another and summon <coughs> Tranduil on the side they will definitely kill those spiders over here mm, fortress for the art will go down pretty easily Torn of Vengeance have been used towards uh, Fisher to not allow his opponent to create some half from Marudras and then take down those ends easily. So Fortress for the Odd going down. Deadeye is going to be used on a Trand Wheel and a Spider Pit may go down as well. And I think it's maybe it for the odd, um, which doesn't have much to be honest. He's going with the last push towards uh, towards Isengard. Isengard got the armory on his fortress and this tower, long tower that Aragorn provide for him. Uh, so he should be okay. Yeah, the odd doesn't have anything else to do to mm, to make, and um, he's going to be defeated. Last player, Mifrandil, got armory for his fortress. But it doesn't look like he will, um, he will save his uh, base anyway. Gamer is using his uh, Warton as well as Wiseman of Downland. Trying to push forward towards the fortress. And I think it may be it for the last Goblin. Watsman and Dalmat out of range of. Uh, oh, I was just about to say that <laughs> Watsman and Dalmat was out of range of bats, but of course he moved the back. But realized that he got no chance against uh, two players, against one. So, pretty good game at 1.00. Mm. Aragorn, the elf player, haven't been really used his forces only to just um, establish bases protect his ally, he's, he was most used his Trandu and um, Ant summon than other than other uh, composition, other tactics um, so those signal fires that he took in the beginning was very important he should try to take them in his control more often when he saw that uh, two, goblin, two goblins took it back to towards uh, their uh, source he should take it back Anyway, game was pretty funny, pretty nice to watch. I hope you enjoy, even with my grammar problems <laughs> sometimes. I hope you enjoy. Have a fantastic day. Bye bye.